we will just have a look at the important features of uh, fishes which belong to the genus Scomboromorus. They belong to phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata, division Nathostomata, superclass Pisces and class Ostictus. The fishes uh, belonging to the genus Scomboromorus are commonly called as sea fishes. They are marine fishes, they are exclusively marine forms and large sized mackerel like fishes and they form a highly prized marine food fish and they have got a very high economic value because of the tasty meat and we will just come across some uh, one or two species which belong to this genus. One of them is Scomboromorus guttatus which is called as the spotted sea fish from the spots present on the lateral sides of the body. Uh, then we will go to Scomboromorus commerson or the narrow barred Spanish mackerel from the bar like spots which are seen on its lateral side. Then there is Scomboromorus interruptus. So these are some of the species of fish which are more popular in the genus Scomboromorus. So it is a marine fish which is uh, categorized among the mackerel variety of fishes. And Scombromorus is found in around the Indian Ocean and the adjoining seas. It is a popular game fish which grows up to a weight of around 45 kg. And it is a strong fighter that occasionally is being uh, seen to leap out of the water when it is hooked. So it is a fighter kind of fighter and it is also a game fish. Uh, it is a carnivorous feeder and it is a pelagic fish, it is a swimming form and is popular among the countries of Indian subcontinent including Bangladesh, India, Pakistan and Sri Lanka. And as it was already mentioned the flesh is very tasty and it is a delicacy in several regions of India. In uh, Malabar that is in North Kerala it is called as Aikura whereas in South Kerala it is called as Maimin. Now we will come to uh, some of the morphological features that is it has got a soft scaleless laterally compressed body which is black above grey banded and or spotted laterally. So earlier I uh, showed you some pictures. So it is black above but on the lateral side it is somewhat grey with either spots or bands. We can see two dorsal fins two differently sized dorsal fins can be seen. Then they have got a crescentic uh, half moon shaped uh, homocircle caudal fin. Why it is homocircle? The upper and lower lobes are symmetrical that is why it is called as a homocircle caudal fin. Then another feature of this fish is the presence of a series of small finlets you can see here finlets. So these are the finlets between this anal fin and the caudal fin. So these finlets can be seen on the dorsal side as well as the ventral side. So that is one of the uh, distinguishing features of Scomboromorus, the presence of 8 to 9 small detached finlets between the tail region and the anal region. Then the snout is pointed with flat and sharp cutting, jaw, cutting teeth on their jaws. Another feature about the tail is the presence of a pedunculate that means this is the tail which is supported by a homocircle caudal fin and uh, this fin tail fin it has got a wrist like region just like the wrist of our hand it has got a wrist like region this is called as the caudal peduncle. So, this region it is pedunculate it is very slender and the caudal fin is somewhat uh, half moon shaped and this is also uh, characterized by the presence of a keel this keel is called as the caudal keel. So what is a caudal keel? So this wrist like region is the peduncle. Uh, these are the small finlets characteristic of this genus this is the keel this is called caudal keel. Caudal keel is a lateral ridge or an elevated structure found just in front of the tail fin. 
on this caudal peduncle. So, it is usually seen in uh, species of fast swimming fishes and this, pedung this keel it will provide stability and support to the caudal fin usually in fast swimming forms. So, coming to the tail again uh, it is lunate or half moon shaped or crescentic shaped the tail is half moon shaped or crescentic shaped that is why it is called lunate it has got a peduncle or a wrist like region this is the peduncle region and uh, in on this peduncle you can see a lateral ridge which is seen uh, just in front of the tail fin and it is seen on this caudal peduncle. So, this caudal keel it will provide stability and support to the caudal fin during swimming. So, this is a characteristic feature of some fast swimming fishes. Coming to their reproductive behavior the sexes are separate, the fertilization is external and the mackerels they spawn in oceanic conditions on the edges of coral reefs. The eggs possess large oil droplets that helps that keeps them buoyant or that keeps them swimming. So, they are always kept at the top of the water column because of the presence of the large oil droplet associated with the eggs and uh, spawning occurs in what I mean fertilization occurs in water fertilization is external and uh, this is a seasonal feature also this spawning is a seasonal feature also and uh, many of the fisheries that target this species are based on uh, pre-spawning feeding aggregations that is before they undergo spawning they are found in groups so that time is considered to be ideal for fisheries. So, these are some of the characteristics of Scomboro morris.